What's up guys, with the new iOS 12 update came a few new features for the HomePod. So I wanted to go over a few of those today that allow you to kind of do certain things now. You can kind of make and receive calls now from the HomePod. You can kind of find my iPhone with it. You can find lyrics and stuff from songs that you want to listen to. And you can set multiple reminders. Let me start off with the reminders. So let's see how this all works out. Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. Set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Hey Siri, set a timer for 25 minutes for the food. 25 minute food timer, starting now. Hey Siri, set a 15 minute timer for the dishwasher. 15 minute dishwasher timer, starting now. And as you can see, you can kind of set timers that way. If you do those type of things in the kitchen or whatever, like if you got a timer for your food, your rice, or whatever you do, you know what I mean? Whatever you're doing that you need timers for, HomePod can help you with that. With this update, there also is a new feature there where you can find songs by the lyrics of the song. So if you don't know the name of the song, you can find it by the lyrics, but you have to have an Apple Music subscription, which I do not have. I have a Spotify, so I can't really go into that feature, but I will try it to see if any music that I have on my little iTunes account it still work, so that's gonna take a look. Hey Siri, find the songs to the lyrics, F Life in the Fast Lane. Here's Fast Lane by Bad Meets Evil. Hey Siri, stop playing. So there you go. So you can even do it with just songs in your regular iTunes account, which is good, but I don't have too many songs on there, but. If you have Apple Music, this really can help you find songs that you don't know the names of by the lyrics. And with the update also, it came where you can kind of find your iPhone. If you can't find your iPhone, you misplace it somewhere in the house and it's in the, within the same vicinity of the HomePod, it can help you find it. So let's take a look at this right now. Uh, hey Siri, find my iPhone. I found Dante's iPhone nearby. Should I try to make it play a sound? Yes. Pinning it now. This is also good that because it was on vibrate. So that's good that it'll make a sound even when it vibrates, it's on vibrate so you can't handle sound. That's also a good thing because sometimes some phones do just vibrate and you think you can find it by just vibrating, which can be a hard thing to do sometimes because say if it's stuck in between the sofa and you're, you upstairs thinking it's upstairs and you check it downstairs in the basement or whatever and you can't hear it. So that's good. So that's also a good thing that I've noticed with finding an iPhone that you can kind of find your phone by making it a sound. Great. And I want to talk about the fact that you can make phone calls from the HomePod. So let's take a look at this feature and see how well it works. Hey Siri, call mom. Just to confirm, you'd like to call mom? Yes. Calling now. When you're done, just say, hey Siri, hang up. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Two, one, five. Hey Siri, hang up. Two. One, not. Well, I don't know if my, phone, my mom's phone is on or off, but it went straight to voicemail, but that allows you to see that you can make phone calls now from the HomePod. If you want to make a phone call and you ain't got your phone next to you, you can make a call just like that. And with the new update, there you have it. You can make phone calls from the HomePod. It still only uses one speaker. It doesn't use stereo speakers for that. So I don't know if that's going to be an update later on in the future where you can use both speakers to kind of use as a... Um, the phone, when you call and make a phone calls, you can use both speakers instead of just one. Right now it's just using one, which is fine, but you kind of want to see if it would amplify the sound a lot if you had two speakers. But right there, there you have it. You can make phone calls from the whole pod with the latest features from the iOS 12. And I'm pretty excited about it. So for me, sometimes I hate holding the phone, especially when I'm moving around doing stuff, I hate holding the phone to my ear. So if I'm in my room and I'm kind of like getting my daughter ready, to go home or pick help with my son out with something, I can make a phone call right there and keep it moving. I ain't got to hold nothing to my ear and it got my hands free. Great thing about it. So let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about these new features with the iOS 12. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video.